Dr. Rich, the new Abbott Binax Now or Binax When test, because we don't know when we're going to get it, is, is starting to be released. What are your thoughts about it? The, the test was basically introduced to do mass testing. Um, according to Abbott, it wasn't introduced to uh, be a moneymaker so much as it was to do mass testing for the populations in rapid, rapid fire format where you can test hundreds of people in, a, in over an hour period. However, the ID Now machine, uh, the molecular test that tests nucleic acid is most likely more sensitive uh, to picking up the virus uh, than the antigen test. So I think as of right now, the rapid test picking up nucleic acid is probably the more accurate and more sensitive test. So recently I met with some Abbott executives uh, who think that the Abbott ID Now machine is more sensitive than the Binax. So moving forward, um, the Binax was created to pick up um, antigen and it's most sensitive when someone has symptoms for about four days. However, you have asymptomatic patients and so you don't know when they contracted the virus. So that's where the ID Now machine testing for nucleic acid uh, is a much better test. Wow, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so because with the university population, then you're going to want to use something like the Abbott ID Now or PCR send out test to be able to identify those asymptomatic individuals. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And you mean that because the viral load is is much more in a or much less in an asymptomatic case? That's what we believe, uh, because, uh, you know, the higher viral load, um, people get symptomatic quicker and they get more symptoms and they get uh, more severity of disease. So there's many patients that I see uh, in my urgent care, which we have about a 10% uh, positive rate of testing, that many people continue to test positive. However, when we do antibody tests on those patients, they have no antibodies in their system. And many of these patients have minimal to no symptoms at all, not enough to even produce antibodies. Dr. Rich, thank you so much for doing this Q&A with me. I really appreciate it and I appreciate your time. Thomas, thanks for having me and I look forward to the next meeting.